Here's an interesting question from James. So I introduced a new queen to one of my hives last week. Not sure if it's related, but I got in the hive today to check things out. I smoked before I went in. I'll admit I was a little lazy and was wearing a t-shirt, but had a face net on and some gloves. I started to inspect the hives and everything was fine. Then in a blink, they swarmed on me. I took one stinger to the back, but I quickly put the hive back together and started walking away. They followed me from the hive to the house about 30 yards. They meant business usually very gentle and docile. So that is a, a fairly common occurrence where you have a colony of bees that everything seems fine and they seem pretty gentle. And then out of a sudden you go there and they're very, um, they get aggressive out of a sudden. And sometimes it's hard to know exactly why they do that. But some of the common reasons is they could be queenless. So maybe that queen that was introduced ended up dying or they ended up killing the queen and they may not have a queen. So bees that don't have a queen tend to be pretty cranky. Uh, they're not happy about life because they need their queen for the colony to survive. When they're queenless, especially if they don't have brood, they don't tend to go out and collect food. They just kind of hang around and they're getting older. And older bees are usually the more aggressive bees. And instead of going out in the field and foraging, they're just kind of hanging around the hive. Um, so that could definitely be a factor. It could be that they're dealing with robbing. Maybe another colony is trying to rob their honey stores and they're overly protected because of that. It could be that they're having an ant infestation. When they're trying to protect their hive constantly from ants, they get pretty cranky. So take a look, especially on the inner cover, and see if there's ants hanging around um, trying to get in. And the similar thing with other pests like hornets. Um, this time of year, you don't really have to be too concerned about hornets. But in the fall, hornets can be a pretty big problem and they will go and, and pluck off a lot of bees and, and that kind of gets the bees a little touchy. It could be you were wearing an odor that they didn't like. I went to inspect my hives a, a couple weeks ago and normally my hives are pretty docile. I don't really get stung too much. I put some tick spray on because where I have the bees lately I've been getting ticks on me. Man did the bees hate that. It was insane. They were going nuts. It was some kind of natural tick spray, some kind of natural insect repellent. And I didn't even think about it. I just kind of sprayed it on and just opened up the hive. And unfortunately, I had put a lot of equipment there um, because I was, gonna, I was gonna make nukes actually. So I actually pulled the lids off a couple hives. I was kind of working through it I didn't have my smoker, so I couldn't hit him with smoke to calm him down. I don't think it would have calmed him down, but I ended up getting stung probably 50 times by the time I got everything back together and, uh, and hightailed it out of there. And those bees, they followed me uh, probably 100 feet from the hive. And I was actually probably half an hour or maybe an hour later, I was standing over by the house. I, I keep the bees over at my dad's place. He has a, a bunch of property and I was talking to my dad and out of a sudden these two bees come out of nowhere and they start buzzing me and trying to sting me. Um, so that was a, a very good learning experience. So the next day I came out and without the tick spray on, they were totally fine. Bees are also cranky when there's a lot of humidity or there's a, a lot of high temperature and they're trying to control the temperature in the hive and they're having difficulty doing that. You might be careful checking them at times like that. They're also crankier late in the evening. All the foragers are back at the hive and the foragers tend to be the cranky ones. All the young uh, nurse bees, most of the time they won't even bother with you. They're very docile. They don't have the protective behavior yet. I think the guard bees are bees that are about, I forget exactly, but about 20 days old. So anything below that, they tend to be very docile. 
um, and you'll see the, uh, the younger bees, they're kind of fuzzy, kind of gray looking. The older bees have a shinier look and you'll, you'll see that the aggressive ones tend to be the shiny looking ones. They're like middle aged to older bees. Sometimes you'll have skunks or uh, animals like that that bother them. They'll come there in the night and, and get bees to come out and they'll eat them. Uh, it could be a, an indication that something is bothering them. It could also be that they're not used to having a lot of motion around the hives. And if you're riding your mower past or you have a lot more motion than they're used to, they tend to be crankier. Make sure when you're checking the hives, you use smooth motions, you don't jerk around. If you do get stung, that puts out a smell that the other bees detect and, and they all go on guard after, after um, uh, you get stung. So if you get stung by one, the chances of getting stung by more definitely increases. When you get stung, scrape it off with your fingernail because you want to get that stinger out as quickly as possible. And then if you have your smoker, put your, take your smoker and, and puff some smoke at that spot to cover up the scent of the stinger. That's going to reduce some of the aggression if you get stung on your hand or whatever and you put your hand back in the hive they're not going to smell that on you anymore. If bees are kind of sensitive to motion, what I've done in the past is you hang, you put like a, a stake in the ground and you tie some cloth to it that blows around in the wind. That helps reduce their sensitivity to motion. They're always seeing something blowing around. And that way, if a person walks by in front of them, they're less prone to go out and attack it. Uh, or attack a dog walking past, something like that. A lot of times with an aggressive colony, you do end up having to replace a queen. You might find a queen from another breeder and uh, replace the queen. Don't let them raise their own queen because it's going to have genetics of, <laughs> of the queen that you just replaced. So try and get one from maybe another hive or purchase a, a more docile um, queen.